Hey everybody, welcome to eTrailer.com. I'm Bobby, and today we're taking a look at the Hallorax Destination 4x Rack Carrier here in the back of our 2020 Ford Explorer. So, if you guys are having a lot of people on the tri on your Explorer with you, got the full seats all filled up, maybe with some kids or with just your friends, this is going to be an excellent way of getting four bikes to your destination because... You are going to have really good securance on here. I'm going to say probably not the best looking bike rack out there. It's got a lot going on. However, I think you're going to become a bigger fan of it just like we have after actually getting your bikes fully loaded on here and seeing how, of a good, how well of a job it does of securing them. You are going to have a 35 pound weight capacity limit per bike. That means you're going to get most of your standard and even up into some of those mountain bike range bikes up on this bad boy with no trouble. And one thing I really like about it, it's very, very versatile. So no matter almost what, any kind of bike you throw in here, you're going to have an A-OK -okay time. The center mass here can actually rotate 360 degrees, which becomes awesome. So if you have a vertical, horizontal, or even diagonal posting, you're going to have no trouble actually getting it on there, which is great. And you also have these adjustable cradle lengths. Now, I will say they're probably not going to be the most useful for a lot of us. Now, maybe if you have a kid's bike, you can go ahead, bring this to the second position here. And that's excellent for yourself of... Um, just making it a little easier to get your bikes on there. If you do have some of the smaller bikes, maybe you got some kids with you, like we said, getting those on there, shorten that up. That way they're nice and secure for yourself. Well, it's awesome with it, but however, it doesn't tilt away. So that's kind of my only one thing with it. If you do want a tilting bike rack, the Kurt Premium 4, or I'm sorry, not Premium, the Kurt 4 bike platform rack actually does tilt away. Um, and that could be a nice option. The one thing with that though, it is a little heavier. So that's kind of the advantage of the destination. It is plastic fantastic. Going to be a little lighter, going to be easier to move. And that's kind of where you are sitting with those pros and cons. I like the reflector, the little reflectors on the end. That's nice to let people know exactly where we are. That way we can get home safe for our friends and our family and nobody has any accidents which is great so it's not going to take me too long to pop this bike off these strips that are on either end actually have a very nice little rubber kind of grommet on it doing a great job of holding on there that covering making sure we don't scuff up our rims and to release it all i have to do press in that lever you're going to have this little hole here makes it really easy to run a hand through and tighten those down even if you're cold or wet or anything like that which is really nice and all we have to do is simply pop it like that and that's going to allow us to take it off then we're going to have one last hold here in the center what i like to do take my hand bring it around press there and that allows me to take that guy off really, really easy, making sure that my bike doesn't tilt into our vehicle or myself. And then I can simply grab my bike, walk it off, and already we're ready to ride. Now mounting it becomes just as easy. The only thing to kind of watch out for is going to be those strips. Sometimes they like to hang in your way. What I like to do, A, just kind of get them flipped underneath here. It becomes really easy then to go ahead and mount it. Um, but yeah, that's all I really do to get it out of the way, which is great. Now, we don't have a way of opening our hatch with our bikes loaded up or with our mask sticking up. Luckily for us, we can drop it down since we can't tilt away. All I have to do, come right up to this knob here and start counterclockwise in it. We're lefty-loosey, bring that lever back. That allows me to drop this whole mass. I also like to take my extra strip here, run it through and secure it. That way it's not gonna be popping up which is great for ourselves. Now I can go ahead, access my cargo here, pop up my hatch, get my bike helmets, coolers, anything else you might have in the back here, quickly access it, which is great. You have a little bit of standing room, which is nice too. Allows you to get in there with no trouble at all. Now, again, like I said, uh, not gonna be easy for quick and easy access as you will have to take off these bikes, which does kind of stink. However, we have ways of combating that. And that's just kind of one of the ropes when you're kind of going for a more bang for your buck kind of option. So. We actually do have some dimensions we need to keep in mind here. The Explorer already somewhat of a longer vehicle, so let's go ahead and see how much length we're adding from the back of the vehicle here today. That's putting you at 40 inches to the very end, which isn't too much to work with. We can't actually flip this up and away, but let's go ahead and check our clearance before we do that. From the ground to the end here, that's putting you at 20 and three quarters of an inch to the very inside. Now keep in mind as those front wheels go up, the back will go down and so will your hitch mounted accessories. So if you do have any very steep terrain that you're approaching, I just watch it, make sure you're not going to have any issues, but I think we're going to be a okay with 20 and three quarters of an inch. We can quickly flip this up, but to do that, I'm just going to bring myself to the middle here. That's going to allow me to take out this clip that's holding us in and then start walking this knob back. All I have to do again, bring that guy out. Now you're going to walk this up. You're not going to go all the way, but you are going to go right to about there. Reinsert your pen. Can be helpful to kind of find that hole. And there we go. And now we can start threading that back in to start securing this. One thing I really like about this, A, the knob's large, it's easy to grab onto, and that lets me really start tightening this down. That way we don't have any shake and play here in this position. 
And there we go, nice and secure for ourselves. We just have to replace our pen. And I do like how we don't have movement there as much, which is great. You can really start tightening that down too, which is awesome. Taking all that play out, that way you're not feeling it as it is moving. And that's gonna shave us down a lot of space as we do have four bikes on here. From the back of the bumper now to the very end, that's putting you at 14 and a half inches to the back, which is great. Now we can pull this in the garage, or at the very least, give ourselves a lot more maneuverability to go ahead and get this parked. On the inside here, you do see we have a two inch shank here today on our two inch hitch, allowing us to go ahead and of course carry it. We do have a threaded anti-rattle hitch bolt in there. Now these guys are very standard across the industry, but as we're gonna show you here in a little bit, it does a great job of taking that shake and play out. On the other side though, you do have a locking core. That's gonna go ahead and make sure that your hitch carrier stays attached to your hitch when you leave it unattended. Now, as I said before, that anti-rattle, you guys are going to see it takes out all that play. As I shake this, it's in line with our Explorer shaking the entire vehicle, making for a nice or smoother ride for ourselves, our bike rack, but especially our bikes, which is great. The only other thing I'd say about the destination kind of stinks that we don't have a way of securing our bikes to our carrier when we leave it unattended. I highly recommend looking at eTrailer.com for a couple of security options to make sure your bikes stay in your carrier when you're not there. On the back here too, you do have your backup camera keep in mind as you have this folded up you're really going to lose a lot of visibility and of course as you have four bikes on there it's pretty much going to be all gone as well now that's something you're really going to run into with almost any hitch mounted carrier out there so kind of keep that in mind when you guys are weighing of how to carry your bikes one option you could do go ahead do yourself a favor grab a roof rack option however your explorer is pretty tall so I still think your hitch carriers are a better option and it's okay that we lose our backup camera Whatever, right? All right, guys, I think that about does it for our look at the Holodrax Destination 4 Bike Rack Carrier here in the back of our 2020 Ford Explorer. I'm Bobby. Thank you for watching. Now we're going to go ahead and take it on our test course. First, we'll start with the slaloms. This is going to show the side to side action. It's kind of going to mimic the movements that you'll see whenever you're driving down the road normally. Now we'll have the alternating speed bumps. This is gonna be more so like the uneven roads and some of that uneven terrain you might be traveling on and see how it holds up. 